Thank you very much. What a great introduction. Hello, everybody. Hello, everybody. <laughs> well, it's great to be here, and thank you. And, and actually, following on from last year, it seems to have gone up a notch. Yeah, it's um, 10,000 people um, over three days. A bigger venue than QE2 last time. So uh, basically, whatever we did last year seems to have worked. And that, that's why I'm really keen that you're back, because last year we did Lion's Lair, and I wanted to show you what we've done, because you put down the challenge, okay, these are great ideas, but will you follow them through? So let's see a first clip of Ooh. one of the ideas from last year. In such a diverse organization, finding contact details for the individual can be frustrating. Rob Murphy thinks he has the answer. It is a government-wide portal that will enable civil servants to access the directory of business of every other government department, and will enable them to find who does what, in many ways, a bit like in the Yellow Pages. I'm not sure that the civil service has heard this comment before, but have you ever heard of a no-brainer? Yes, we use this term all the time. This is a no-brainer. I'm in, love the idea, should be done. What's the next step? I'm not going to get involved in the red tape and helping you to do it, but I'm happy if you give me a stick to beat. I think it's a great idea. <laughs> Well, I mean, I would like us to celebrate the success because I'd be honest with you, I was sceptical mm -hmm. that the things that we talk about, we don't do. And I think you saw from that clip when I was sitting to something, I had a, a situation where I named people Bagsies. These are people, if you remember last year, that actually, if you remember at school, the Bagsy game, it's, I used to play turn around, touch the ground, Bagsy, it's not me. Well, I said, you've got to look out for these people across the whole of the civil service because these are the people that actually might be in positions of power, but what they do is they walk into meetings with the clear thought of, I want to walk out of that meeting without any action on me at all. That is a bagsy. Because it isn't easy, Gus, is it? When, you know, the position that you're in, there's, you know, I've just seen what you've had to do with um, Prince Charles and, and show him around, and it's, it's a weight, but you've got a, a lot on your, your plate at the moment, and there's a lot to do. So when we get things like this, that actually I believe will make a serious change across the whole of the civil service for the better. I think it's great. And this year, more importantly, um, which is about moving forward, I can honestly say that it has gone up a level. Really? What we have seen this year, and the pictures you're about to see today, have gone up, I would say, not twofold, but certainly up a level. Um, if I compare it to Dragon's Den, it's the difference between Series 1 and Series 4. You still get the downright complete idiots and the stupid ideas that nobody ever wants to implement, but you've got some real golden nuggets. What, Gus, one of the major things for me that hopefully everybody got a feeling of there was what really came out, which I was as shocked again as I was last year with the fact about communication, was actually about sharing the good mm. that is currently occurring across the whole of the civil service. And we all listen to various people out there in the private sector that have some harsh words to say about the public sector, and having been involved now for two and a half years, I'm not saying that I'm a defending champion of yours um, in terms of supportive, but there are some amazing initiatives, amazing innovative initiatives that are going across the whole of the civil service, and yet not transported across. It's a bit like that we said about joining the dots. When you open up your colouring page, you've got those dots. You don't know what picture is going to be there, but you, you know from old that it creates a perfect picture. Absolutely. And Basically, it's the whole reason for this conference, because these people out here all come from different departments, and you are of all different grades. And the whole point about this is virtually every other civil service conference tends to be down roots of, well, my department's doing this, or my professionalism is doing this. We never join the whole thing up. And the, the whole point about Civil Service Live is it spans grades, it spans departments, and it spans subjects. You know, it's, not all about, I was talking at information assurance uh, recently in the QE2. Great IT professionals, they're all white males, I realize. A very unusual, non-diverse organization. But uh, basically when we get here, we get that diversity of experience which allows us to learn. But I think one of the themes that comes out, and I was really interested in, 
was that actually we are not learning as much across the departments. And, and I think you've got some examples. Yeah, of I mean, one of, the, one of the ones that, that's hit me most is one, there was parliamentary question time, which, to be perfectly honest, somebody in the private sector, I knew nothing about it until I sat in that chair. Mm -hmm. And I had to ask a lot of questions. But this, for me, this next clip is, is very interesting. I'd like us to roll this next clip if we can. <coughs> the main attributes of PQ Online would be uh, pre-populated templates and functions, which allow for a secure audit trail. Uh, it would have direct links to Dodd Online, Parlinet, and Hansard. It would have a tracking system, so you would identify who at any stage in the process is the owner of that PQ and at what stage they're at. But I think it needs to be implemented as soon as possible, and I would appreciate your support. Is it mostly about saving money, or is it about better quality answers? Or do you think it can do both? I think it can do both. I like the idea of joining up questions that were all asked. I'm much less keen on the idea of changing all our other systems for the questions that are just for us. Peter Jones has been thinking it over and points Chris in the direction of a bigger idea. If you came and said, look, I've got an idea to give MPs more knowledge and, or give them an understanding of what's going on, and I'm going to set up civilgoogle.com, uh, kind of get it. Yeah. But mm -hmm. you didn't say that. In the germ of, of what Chris presented to us was the idea of reusability. We've added something to that, which is don't wait, in a way, to be asked the question. Um, you know, kind of have frequently asked questions up there. The mood yeah. at the moment is more transparency around Parliament. So on that basis, I'm in and I'm happy to help you to develop a concept. I like it only if we can incorporate Ask Civil or Ask Service as a search engine in, an exec in the existing civil service central website. And, and one of the reasons, Gus, why I found that mm. interesting was that if we're able to have, I mean, civil service Google but mm. something within, within the civil service infrastructure. Actually, the, the reusability comment was quite interesting. These great ideas that are clearly happening, yeah. but they're clearly not in other areas. No, and, and this is why civil pages and civil wiki will actually give us some, some vehicles to use, some web-based vehicles, where we can start doing this sort of thing. I mean, it is brilliant. It's kind of you know, Facebook for the civil service without possibly pictures of people in their speedos, you know, that's <laughs> going or, a little too or, far. Or in their capes. Um, yeah, no, we're not going anywhere near that. I'm going to continue to out there to celebrate the success on your behalf in the private sector, um, because I truly believe passionately that you are making a major difference um, in everything that you do, from the difficulties um, that you have to suffer with funding, with issues with the private sector pushing onto you every single minute of every day. It's very debilitating. So for me, it's a personal thank you for keep doing what you're doing in your own way. Keep going as superheroes. Um, and Gus, I want to thank you for saying yes to so many of these things from, from what Anne's done to, there's two or three things that we've come out of today that I believe that will be implemented when we stand on this stage next year and again will greatly enhance the civil service. Well, uh, a big, big thank you to you because actually we need people in the private sector. You know, there are, there are some, dare I say it, who haven't been as uh, positive as you have. And it's certainly true we can learn a lot. I mean, getting your entrepreneurial spirit into the civil services is what we're about. And, and what the work you've done on the Enterprise Academy has shown what can happen at its best if we bring everybody together. And I know you said last year with, a, with the Lions Lair, it was too easy for everybody to say yes. And you were absolutely determined this time it was like, OK, guys, if we're going to agree on something, we need a person who's going to commit to it. And so we've got you on tape, things you've committed to. So, you know, it's not just me. And we are going to deliver those. So thank well, you for, well, that's a great for that. Thing. I mean, that's a great thing. I don't know whether everybody knows. That is a key point, Gus. The, the difference is that last year we didn't have a key sponsor. And this year we literally did have a key sponsor yeah. um, for every single one that was thought of as a good idea. Yeah. So thank you. And, and Gus, just before we go, I know the superhero outfit wouldn't work, but will you take a Flash Gordon comic <laughs> away with you? With my very lots of comp, you know, compliments. Thank you very thank much. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> with that, Peter, thanks ever so much for all your help in all of this. We couldn't be doing this Lions Lair without you. It's been great. And thank you. Look forward to seeing you all uh, at these events in the future. And we're carrying on for the next couple of days, and it'll be great. Thanks very much. Thank you very much. Thank you.